What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 48 update. This week, they've added two new crossbows and made some changes to throne knives and spears. Also, some news about data decentralization and dedicated servers. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 48 update, nice spears and crossbows. Icarus Week 48 update, new throne knives and spears, plus two new crossbows. Throwing spears and throwing knives can now be crafted along with two new repeating crossbows. This week, we've added throwing variations of the knife and spear into the weapon pool, providing a specialized option with stacking capabilities, while changing the standard versions to melee only. This will make it easier to use these weapons as projectile alternatives to other strategies and stop you from accidentally misclicking and losing them in the wrong situation. We've also added two new crossbows, the Platinum at Tier 3 and the Titanium at Tier 4, to provide alternatives to firearms at higher levels. Finally, we talk about our decision to not provide workshop variants of the following knife and spear and how this will change as we move towards decentralization in the near future. So this week we have the throne weapons item separation. They had separated knives and spears into their own variants. You're going to now be able to craft throne versions which can't be used in melee situations or to skin carcasses. But they can be stacked up to 50 times for knives and 20 for spears. Throne variants do have their own slot in the tech tree separate from the melee versions. And both share the same recipes. But the unique icons and names will help you distinguish between them. You can no longer throw melee versions of the knife and they can't receive a stack option that their counterparts do but you can still skin creatures which makes them still important on hunting expeditions there are multiple reasons they made this change with a key one being irritation caused by accidentally throwing their weapons with a misclick or being able to stack them and having to scroll through the hotbar in combat situations it also addresses a balance issue with knives using durability when skinning carcasses particularly as they add the stacking element it would amplify this issue and managing your gear more complicated also adds a new dynamic to combat allowing you to throw knives and spears with more ease making it a viable mechanic and we have tier 3 and tier 4 crossbows now. The two new crossbows that they added are the platinum at tier 3 and the titanium at tier 4. They both share the benefit of being repeating crossbows and they're able to fire up to 5 bolts in a single burst. In intense situations, this provides considerable damage for players with a steady hand and good hit and scanning technique. They also come with a chance to slow on hit that other crossbows have and extra damage when piercing the hardened spots of creatures. These fill a gap that they had in the game for higher tier projectile weapons and will prove useful for some upcoming creatures they plan to bring to the game. Tier 3 Platinum is crafted with machining bench and requires platinum, epoxy, leather, and wood. The Tier 4 Titanium crossbow is crafted in the fabricator and like the Platinum crossbow, it will require the standard resources but paired with titanium. The Platinum crossbow does set on the higher end of Tier 3 so it has a higher cost and the Titanium crossbow will line up closely with the firearms on Tier 4 but cost half the Titanium Ignit investment, making it a viable alternative for harder missions and combat scenarios. And they talk about the workshop stacking problem. The new stacking ability with the throwing versions of knives and spears will not be applied to workshop versions, and they wanted to explain why. In their current back-end system, many dynamic traits are lost when bringing items back to the workshop. This was an early concession made to prevent the amount of space a workshop item uses in the back-end. The most notable of these dynamic traits is stack count. Therefore, they had to work around this and not allow workshop items to stack and come up with a solution of bundles which players could take down to the planet and bring up if they wanted to. But once consumed on planet, like arrow bundles, they are no longer able to be returned to space. There's a few effects of this decision, including the inability to stack workshop items and limitations on being able to track the durability of items that have been taken back from the planet, which also means that many forms of item persistence were not able to be explored. This is something they will change in data decentralization as the removal of backend server opens up a wide variety of options to save other data and allow them to investigate more persistence between sessions. This will be most notable in consumables and projectiles, but also across armor and weapons and mounts with the ability to track many dynamic properties across multiple drops. They're very close to releasing a public branch of the data decentralization Icarus client for community testing, so if you are interested, join their Discord to be one of the first to jump in. 
So let's look at our tech tree and we're going to see the platinum crossbow, a crossbow that automatically reloads for rapid fire, has plus four ammo capacity, plus 50 range of fire per minute, 0.8 seconds to reload, 15% chance to slow on hit with attacks, plus 25% damage dealt to hardened points, and inflicts the slowed modifier for five seconds, which is negative 50% movement speed. It can be crafted for wood leather, 20 platinum, epoxy, and some steel screws. It's time for some serious damage and on our tier four tree we have the titanium crossbow a powerful weapon to help you tackle whatever icarus throws at you plus 50 percent projectile damage plus six ammo capacity plus 40 rate of fire per minute one second to reload 50 percent chance to slow on a hit and plus 40 percent damage dealt to hardened points it also gives you a negative 50 percent movement speed with the slowed effect and made at a fabricator for wood eight cured leather 20 titanium ignits, epoxy, and some steel screws. Shock might me come around bolt hash. Cause I haven't made bolts in forever. So as I stated before, the platinum crossbow can be crafted in the machining bench. You also now have the options for the throwing knife, the platinum throwing knife. This is not the melee version. Of course, this is the throwing version. If you scroll up, you'll still see that there is a platinum knife. This is not the throwing knife. This is the melee version. As you see, it does melee damage, where the throwing knife does projectile damage. You also still have the platinum spear. This is the melee spear that does melee damage. And you have the platinum javelin, which is the new thrown spear. And it does 380 to 400 projectile damage. Plus 25% quick damage with spears and also a 10% chance to break. Costs 20 platinum magnets to make five javelin and you also have the carbon javelin so essentially the throne spears are now called javelins and the throne knives are called throwing knives over in the fabricator we still have the titanium spear which is the melee version because you know it does melee damage and the titanium knife which does melee damage and 225 skinning we now also have the titanium throwing knife which does projectile damage and of course, the Titanium Javelin, which is the Throne Spear, with projectile damage, plus 25% critical damage with spears, and plus 10% chance to break, for 20 Titanium Ignits. And also the Composite, and the Titanium Crossbow. Let's check that out. So first up, we have the Platinum Crossbow, and as you can see, you can aim and fire. and fire in rapid succession which this is absolutely amazing this is neat d this item can be crafted quite easily it's very fast as far as your reloading You could probably kill a bear with this. Let's go try. I'm trying to get where this is aiming at. Hold on. Because it's a weird aiming reticule. It's like kind of... Ugh. I don't know what that was. I, I don't... <laughs> so I'm shooting at a tree. And apparently I killed a baby deer somehow. I have no freaking clue how that happened. But okay. Good to know that's not fixed. That's the news you guys want to hear. That that silly glitch with the bows is still not fixed. Because as you've seen just now... Oh, hello. Oh. Am I... Let me hit fire with this. Hold on, let me hit fire with this. I think hit fire is where it's at, probably. Oh god, yeah. I, that's, that was hard to judge on hit bar. Oh yeah. Oh, you ain't gonna get like it. Uh -oh. I gotta reload a stack. That was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. That was different, uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm using iron arrows, or iron bolts, sorry. But, that's the platinum crossbow. So we're going to go ahead and try out the new titanium crossbow. Looks like it holds another one. 
six in your chamber. Now that's very, that's very nice. I like ye. I like ye a lot -y. Hit the reload button, it reloads one bolt, not a whole set. That's nice. Uh oh. Hello. He's got a little jiggy. Uh -oh. Only got three left. Should be enough. Oh. Game crashed on me. Oh, I'm probably dead. I think I'm going to leave that in. Because honestly, that happens all the time. I, I've been crashing a lot lately. It's like our fight never happened. What do you think about a rematch? Yeah, let's do this. Ooh, that was a lag spike. Bobber. So yeah, I mean, it could be as effective as any other bow, really. So yeah, if you really like crossbows, this is probably going to be a really great update for you because these crossbows are, are really neat. If you don't like crossbows, try one and try it out. It's actually quite fun to watch it reload and reload it. So we're also going to show you the javelin and the spear. Of course, spear, it's still its normal attack mode uh, if you hit right click with the spear now absolutely nothing happens you cannot right click now this is the javelin looks just like the spear itself the javelin only has the left click and as you can see we're rear it all the way back and let it go and you can pick up the javelins whenever you throw them the knife can do the melee but it cannot be right clicked i'm right clicking right now and nothing's happening but you also have the throwing knives, and the throwing knives you can't right click either. So basically, all the right click functions have been taken away. And you can left click and throw your knives. Like so. Comment down below do you throw knives? I don't know many people that do. I don't like throwing things in this game. Um, I've had some pretty bad experiences with it, as you can see. If that was the ground. That probably would have been underground, but... So we got the change log for this week. Under new content, they removed the ability to throw basic knives and spears as we just went over it. And the other changes as well. Looks like they removed throwing knife bonuses on the Shigong Deco knife. And I know I probably murdered that. And replaced it with wear rate and reduction bonus. They added the icon representing thrown spears. In the bottom left of the icon, you'll see that. They mentioned about adding the crossbows. And they just keep going on a little bit more about the crossbows and changes to them and whatnot. And this week under fixed, they're changing a resolution scaling max value from 100 to 200 as a test to see if it's supported. Add custom view distance settings for various world objects, Emzine Geyser, Meta Deposits, or Deposits and Dropships. Looks like it may have fixed a typo in the healing boost module description and neat and tidy talent. And they optimized the loading screen images. In future content this week, fixing and hooking up the T2 communication device so it can be displayed correctly using its own static mesh. Adding scoria, potatoes, and tomato item meshes. What's scoria? Adding B Dog aggro and idle breath audio. Adding mangrove harvest audio. So they talk about Scoria, Obsidian, Clay reward nodes. Now here's something pretty cool. And this uh, pretty much confirms it. Adding new pre-built outpost base. So pre-built structure is nice. Adding bulbous harvest and adjustment to sapling harvest. Added aspen seedlings to the prospect. Looks like they're working a little bit more on tomato crops. Updated the text for the orbital exchange interface item. Updated item descriptions for the new resources, crops, communicators, and devices. 
here's something very interesting orbital laser strike prototype bp and vfx is that a laser who knows maybe you'll activate a laser to kill something or to get through a passage maybe an orbital laser will strike kind of like command and conquer or something that's interesting pogma tree created shammy variant Base set up as a duplicate of the regular chamois. We pronounce different ways. Chamois, chamois, however you pronounce it. Chamois. We'll call it chamois from now on. I like chamois. And that looks like about it for this change log. Hey, you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We do weekly update videos for Icarus. What was your favorite thing in this update? Comment down below. We answer all of our comments. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace. What do you think, baby buffaloes? You you just over here by yourself, and there's no mom, you no know, mama around for you, baby buffaloes. No mama, I could be your mama. Now I'm your mama.